Welcome back, folks, to more Tex Murphy under a killing moon. Whoa! Oh, Texas had too much to drink. Hmm, it's one of those basketballs they used to give away at Weenie World. Weenie World! Ten seconds left, down by one. Murphy has the ball. He fakes, he drives, it's a 360! He's fouled! This game has got mad humor. The baby rum wrapper looks like it was left recently. Yep, still warm. The baby rum wrapper looks like it was left recently. Baby rum wrapper? Yep, Ew. still warm. The fuck? Hmm. An empty bottle of evanescent spring water. For those with a higher class of thirst. It's like a shoe print is outlined in that sticky pool of something resembling chocolate. Footprints about a size 14. The empty bottles of chocolate syrup lying all around this alley all look like they've been licked clean. These are empty jumbo-sized cans of Camel's Chunky Chocolate Soup. Mmm, -hmm. good. These disgusting piles of trash remind me of Aunt Betty's annual yard sales. A lot of shit lying around. The texture of the pavement surface is a cross between a spilled coke and sandstone. Shard of glass must have come from that broken window. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Looks like whoever broke into Rook's window left one of his hairs behind. Apparently our burglar is a carrot top. Carrot top. Another billboard advertising cosmetic surgery. It's big business these days. Mutants with money will pay anything to look like norms. Well, that steep staircase looks really hard to climb. Well, that steep staircase looks really hard to climb. Well, hell. Shouldn't anymore. Hey, this door's just painted on. Hey, this door's just painted on. <laughs> it's messed up. Wow, a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. The slice of heaven has been making pizza on the other side of this wall for so long, the bricks smell faintly of extra cheese. Wow, a recycl... Wow, a recyclable paper can. Wow, a recycl... 
Wow. Wow. Whoa! This antique boombox worked. I bet it only play the Bee Gees. Oh man! This dumpster smells like 20-year-old mayonnaise and I oughta know. Well, I'll be darned. Except for the filth and stench, the interior isn't much different than the average studio apartment. In fact, it's nicely furnished. Someone's been living here, and I wonder if he saw anything. This old relic probably hasn't worked in years. Hey, there are batteries in here. Got some batteries. This rickety wooden fence keeps Rook's pawn shop and the slice of heaven pizza parlor from collapsing into each other. Oh, I would love to see my ex mother in law squeeze through there. This is a section of the Bay City Mirror. It's a weekly newsletter that covers local goings-on written by mutants for mutants. I'd subscribe if they had a comics page. To read the newspaper, move the cursor over one of the articles. Burglaries baffle police. Body found in Bay. Need cash? Poet's Corner, Old Jim's Bait Shop, Senator Committed to Asylum, Editorial, Grateful Dead Tour, Police Officers Acquitted of Assault and Civil Suit, Art and Soul. Chelsea's a hot little number. I hear she's a mutant, but it doesn't show. The only weird thing about her is she won't go out with me. She's got three vaginas. Chelsea Bando's the kind that can hold her own with anyone. But she has a way of turning my knees to jelly. She's a mutant just like everyone else in this part of town, but she's a real beauty. Well, hello, stranger. Hey, you baby. Love sick puppy. Chelsea, you're breaking my heart. Why? Because I've got a steady job? No, it's just you're so beautiful it makes me ache. Let me buy you a drink and I'll tell you where it hurts. Gee, Tex, you know, that kind of talk could get you into trouble. But I don't drink with customers. I'd be happy to throw in a chili dog with that drink. Well, an offer like that, oh, that's hard to refuse. But no thanks. So, is there something I can do for you? All right. Let's ask her about herself. Oh, you know me, Tex. I'm just making ends meet. Wish I could help you there, Tex.
The crusade is big. I mean, much bigger than most people know. They have operatives all over, and then these huge sections of the norm population are joining. Well, they say it's a religion, but then they encourage the members to be violent and prejudiced towards others. Rook acts like a tough guy, but he's a softy. Just don't tell him that to his face. I love Louis, but his friendliness doesn't fool me. He's a sharp one. He knows everything that's going on in this neighborhood. Franny's a live wire. Either she or Sal is going to do time for killing the other one. I have never seen a couple fight like they do. Sal's a handful. I mean, he's a nice guy, but I don't know, I feel kind of naked when he gives me the eye. Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. The crusade is big. I mean, much bigger than... Yeah, you know, I remember Rook told me about the burglary. You know, I remember a stranger hanging around the past couple of days. It might be a dead end, but I seem to remember that the guy had these bright green eyes and a tattoo of an anchor on his arm. Hmm. Wish I could help you there, Tex. Luckily, Ardo seems to like me. I mean, if I were on his bad side, I'd be tempted to relocate. He could crush a Subaru with one hand. Hot tamale. Coit Tower was once a majestic landmark. The wiener stand on the patio at the base of Coit Tower made the best chili dog in town. No one's here right now, though, so I better check back later. Ah, the once majestic Chandler Avenue. There's enough radiation in this asphalt to fry an egg on Christmas morning. She. Pretty advanced safe system, if I do say so myself. The Golden Gate Hotel was once known as the Waldorf of the Pacific. Its halls are still sturdy, and the walls have worn well. But there's nobody living inside. Trusty 31 lightning bolt speeder. I still regret not getting the sunroof option. Private dick. I haven't seen Mac Malden since the Martian memorandum case. I remember him as a surly, incompetent, fat-nosed cop. As I step into his office, I can see he's changed. His nose is even bigger. Well, if it isn't Tex Murphy... I figured you'd be dead by now. I could say the same about you. When's the last time you had your cholesterol checked? Still the wise guy, eh, Murphy? 
it's great to see you. Now get lost! Oh, come on. Remember the Martian Memorandum case? Hey, we made a swell team. Yeah, those were the days. I don't get cases like that anymore. Things are harder now. The mayor's office is all over me again. You heard about the string of pawn shop robberies? We have no suspects, and I'm catching the heat for it. So you and your crack team of detectives have no leads? Of course we have leads, you pot. We know he's a norm, Caucasian, and has AB negative blood. That narrows down our list of suspects to about a million. Now get out of my hair, I got work to do. The texture of the pavement surface is across. Alright, let's talk about this fucking crackhead. Looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. Yeah, what do you want? Actually, I have a summer home in Vale, but this spot keeps me in touch with the common people. Oh, what intriguing stories you winos tell. I don't drink spirits, punk. Nothing but pure, creamy chocolate. Now get lost! <laughs> what the fuck? Pure creamy chocolate, okay. He likes that Hershey syrup. Louis Lamentz runs the Brew and Stew, which is a local hangout. Bruin Stew is run by Louis Laments, a bloated mutant with a heart bigger than his waistline. Everyone comes to Louis' cafe. So does all the street talk. If something's going on, Louis knows about it. What can I do for you, Mike? Nothing for me, Louis. I just dropped by to chat. Okay. What's on your mind? Well, Louie, you're the grapevine around here. Anything interesting going on? Well, I've been hearing a lot about this crusade for genetic purity movement. It's got a lot of tension stirred up between mutants and norms. Mutants have been protesting downtown and there's been some violence. Rook's an ornery old cuss, but me and him are old buddies. We fought in the big war together. He's one person you can trust in these troubled times. Chelsea acts tough, but she has to be with all the scum around. And she's as smart as she is pretty. She knows a lot of what goes on in the shadows of this city. Granny's a fireball. She and Sal opened the pizza place seven or eight years ago, and they've been fighting ever since. Yeah, I 
Things are a little slow, but I'm getting by. Having to lay off some of my kitchen help hurt my pride more than anything. Saul, the big guy with an appetite for food, wine, and women, he comes by here most every day for lunch. Bardo comes in now and again, usually orders a couple of steaks and a chocolate milk. His temper's as short as he is tall, and he's only got one oar in the water. A bad combination. This motherfucker obviously did not brush his teeth. Rook told me about the bracelet, but I don't know anything more about it. Rook's been robbed before, but he's never had anything really valuable taken. This is gonna set Rook back for a while. Too bad the cops have turned a blind eye. Ever since the crusade started up, the relations between norms and mutants has gone to pot. I've had rocks thrown through my windows, Graffiti sprayed on the bricks outside. There's not much I can do, though. He's one of the few norms besides you who's eaten here. Seems like a typical cop. A little dim. And not too concerned about what happens in the mutant sections of town. You want to try a slice of my chocolate pie? I can get you a piece to go if you like. Sure. Well, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it is, motherfucker. Oh, looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. Oh, no. Not you again. Look, I'll warn you right now. I'm almost out of chocolate syrup, and I'm not in a good mood. You know, I just might have something that would improve your ugly mood. Is that so? Well, what? Damn right. Brooke, he leaves me alone. Can't ask for more than that. I think Chelsea used to fancy me. Until she found out my only true love was chocolate. Damn near broke her heart. Nice guy. Good cook. Every national feed of bum day, he brings me one of his award-winning chocolate pies. Ugh. I don't have much to do with her. They don't serve anything with chocolate in it at the pizza joint. The only time I ever see Sal is when he gets drunk and comes by to pick a fight. Then I kick his butt and send him on his way. That big goon! He used to hassle me until I shared a quart of chocolate syrup with him. Now he lets me alone. Wish I could help. Oh, don't know a thing about it. I saw someone prowling around the back of the pawn shop last night. It was so dark, I didn't get a good look at him, but I could tell he was huge. Probably 6'3 or 6'4, about 300 pounds. Hmm. Almost I as big as me. I stay out of politics, especially bad politics. Sorry, can't help you with that. Just kidding. I'm nowhere near 300 pounds. But I am 6'3". Holy 
we should have slid on. All hell has broken loose since the government stopped requiring products to display those give a hoot, don't pollute symbols. This is where Louie throws out the garbage. Street people come from miles around to sample Louie's award-winning leftovers. Nothing in here worth taking. Whoever uses these garbage cans is either a terrible shot or is saving them for that special piece of trash. Whoever uses these garbage Whoever uses I wonder what all these garbage cans Like Rook always said. Looks like a key of some kind. We'll take it! It's all locked up. The only way I'm gonna get inside is by using my innate cleverness or ingenuity, or maybe a key. Looks like a welcome mat, but when it's on the doorstep of a novelty shop, you can never be too careful. Whoa, a key! Hmm, it's all locked up. The only way I'm gonna get inside. Hmm, it's all Hallelujah. <laughs> it's fucking fun mask time. Ooh, a small nozzle. Probably a helium dispenser used for filling balloons. Ooh, a small nozzle. Probably a helium dispenser used for filling Let's balloons. Suck some nitrous. Looks like some kind of in house television. Just a couple of empty old packing boxes. Hmm. Dark crossbow. It'll make a nice addition to my non-violent weapon collection. 
All right, folks, wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Under a Killing Moon. Thanks for watching.